Hi, this is Rebecca from Covenants, and today, now that Easter is done, we're going to take advantage of all the Clarence Easter egg dyeing kits and dye some yarn. Um, we don't need the egg dipper or the wax crayon. What we are really looking for are these dyeing tablets. Um, that are concentrated forms of food coloring with a little bit of citric acid. And we are going to use this to dye some 100% Peruvian Highland wool. We've got 100 grams right here, and we are going to dye this on the stovetop. In this pot, we've got 8 cups of water and our 100 grams of yarn. And I've turned the stove on so we can start bringing this to just below its boil. I'm also going to add some white vinegar um, because it'll help, the additional acid will help the dye adhere to the yarn. And since I had just turned this on, if the water's hot, I don't recommend putting your hand in it, but just to help move the vinegar around a bit. And now we are gonna just wait and when I come back we will add the dye pellets. So it can be a little hard to tell which color each tablet is, um, especially when looking between orange and red, but I'm gathering from the cups that there's five colors and we're gonna start adding them around the edge and hoping for the best. So I'm gonna use a knife to move the fiber away from the edge a bit and pop the color into that little pocket. There. I'm wearing gloves now because I don't feel like dyeing my fingers. Aha! And you can start to see some color. So that was the orange. So, done that part okay at least. Alright. And now we can watch the colors radiate out as we space dyed. Um, now, if I've added enough vinegar to the water, then these colors will start binding um, in their respective areas where they're diffusing. But if there's not enough vinegar, like we saw when I did my first uh, dyeing experiment with these Easter egg tablets, we will see that the colors will keep spreading and spreading until the color overall is a bit more uniform. But we will have to wait and see what we get. And now at this point, I'm going to speed up the camera so you can watch the colors radiate out. Enjoy! After cooking for 25 minutes, I have now turned off the dye pot and I am going to let this slowly come to room temperature and then remove the yarn and we will see what we get. Let's look at what we've got here. There is a lot of color left in the dye bath. Um, we could add more vinegar if we wanted to try to get this to absorb the fiber. But I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of green in here, unless for some surprise reason it all rinses out. Um, I am curious what it's going to look like on the bottom. Ooh, look at that! We've got some red still! Cool! Oh, well that's really pretty. Alright, let's take this over to the wash bath and we'll examine it further. Okay, it's now time to wash the fiber. Um, with some lukewarm water and the soap. There's the focus. I have no idea how much color will come out of the yarn, but as you can see, there definitely is some green coming out right away. Um, this is not 
horribly surprising given what we saw, the amount of grain we saw in the dye bath itself. So the green is getting paler, except for where I just here is probably the spot where the green initially bound. And wow, we're seeing more orange and yellow come through now that the green is coming out. So we're going to want to wash this until the dye. We're going to want to keep rinsing the fiber until the dye runs clear, in which case I will hang up. You know, and in the end, I'll hang this up to dry and then we'll show you what we got. You know, the box does say that for in pink, use water for best results and that you should add vinegar if you want vibrant blues. Uh, this is consistent with what we've seen with some food coloring dyeing projects and where without any vinegar at all, red food coloring has been able to bind to yarn. So it's possible that I needed a bit more vinegar and a bit more heat to get the blues to absorb into the fiber. Here we have it, our Easter egg dyed yarn. Now, what do we see here? We see yellow, orange, and red, something we did not see in the dye pot. Um, this is because there was a lot of extra green, um, green dye left over from this dyeing process. But really, we did end up getting a rainbow out of these Easter egg dyeing pellets. Um, if we had wanted to get more of the green into the, the yarn, we could have added more vinegar and heated the yarn for a longer period of time. But I am very excited with these bright Easter egg colors that we ended up with. Um, I hope that you enjoyed um, this dyeing video. I am Rebecca from Cownet.